Hi, my name is Chris Patterson and I'm with iTron and today we will be presenting a video on how to set up your handheld that comes back from service using IP communication. So there's a few things that you're going to need to know once you get your handheld back. The first thing you need to know is what the IP address of your PC is. The easy way to do that is when you're inside of MVRS, go along the top to where it says tools here, click on tools and then go down to DOS session. And inside of DOS session here in that black window that pops up, type in IPCONFIG, IP config. Hit enter and you will see you have a bunch of entries that come up. And the one that you're interested in is the one that says IPv4. And in this case, you can see it's 192.168.35.34. So make a note of that close that screen. The other thing you need to know is the name of the handheld that you have. Easy way to find that is to go to settings, reading devices, and then you'll find on the upper left hand portion here where your handhelds are. And you're looking for your FC300 in this case. So click on the plus and you'll notice that you'll have your handheld names listed here. I happen to have two. The one that I'm setting up today will be FC301, so you'll need to make a note of that. Now that you have those two pieces of information, the other piece of information that you need to know is how you're uh, putting an IP address on the handheld. And there's two ways to do that. One is what is called a static IP address, where you enter an IP address specifically for the handheld. The other is what is called DHCP, where an IP address is automatically assigned to the handheld. When you have your handheld plugged into the cradle, you'll notice that there is what we refer to as an upside down T, which is located right here on your toolbar. And if you tap on it, you will see that you have an IP address if you're obtaining one via DHCP. If this comes up with all zeros, it may mean that either you don't have a DHCP address that's able to be assigned to you, or um, it's you don't have a connection. If you need to assign an IP address, the easy way to do that is close this window, go down to the multicolored flag in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, and tap on that, Go to settings and then networks and then the item that you're looking for is the SMSC 91181. If you double tap on that you'll see that you have obtain an IP address via DHCP or specify. If you're going to specify you need to put the radial dot in the specify and then you need to enter your IP address, the subnet mask and the default gateway and you can obtain those from your IT department if you need to. In this case, we're going to set it up through DHCP, so we're going to select DHCP and we're going to say OK. If you're going to do DHCP from the get-go, you don't have to do the step I just showed you. That's only for specify an IP address. Now that your handheld is plugged in and turned on and you have MVRS running on your PC side, the next step is to go to the MVRS icon that is located on your desktop. If you double tap on that icon, it will run HHCOMCE. The first screen that comes up is the handheld communication. If you select OK, the next one comes up is handheld communication startup. As you'll notice here, my name is already filled in. That's because I've set my handheld up in the past. However, what you'll want to select here is this is where you add the name. So as you can see, we have FC301 entered in. You'll click on OK. That brings up the uh, screen that comes up with my name. You have the change the name if you entered it in incorrectly. The dial type is what you're interested in now. You want to select IP since you're doing an IP communication in this instance. And it's okay to leave compress checked. Next thing you're going to do is select OK. And now you have IP settings. This is the IP setting that you want to enter in for your PC. So in our case here, we want to change the IP address to 35 and then 34. And the primary and secondary IP addresses uh, can be the same. If you have two computers that you try and communicate with, 
you can add the second computer as the secondary IP address as needed. The port will be 5001, so you'll select OK. And at this point, you're ready to communicate. So you want to make sure that you have MVRS running on your PC, that both the console, as you can see on the computer screen, is running and the monitor is running. If those two are closed, you may have an issue with communicating. If they're turned off, then if you click on this little icon that's up here that says task monitor, it will start both of them or one of them. The other way you can start it is if you go up to operations and then run task monitor, that will run them both as well. Now you're ready to go back to your handheld and click on make connection. As you can see, you get the black box that comes up and at this point it will say that it's successfully communicated and it will start to update. Once the updates are completed, your handheld is set up and ready for you to load routes to. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us here at iTron for any technical assistance you may need. Have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you.